Hey y'all, Jimmy here. Uh, my last video was uh, showing you how to how I tied a wool booger, and I get this is an example again that they showed us. All right, I think this is probably the best one I did, and I thought, well, I just showed you how. You know, this is what I did. Okay. Now, this morning, I'm going to try to attempt to show you how I tie a wood booger. First, you're going to need a, what is the camera? There it is, a hook. And I'm going to put a bead on this one. This is kind of a pain in the butt, but that's what we got to have. We don't have to have a bead, but I'm going to put this gold bead on here. See if we can get it on up catching myself. Alright. Bead. Hook. Vice. You know, clamp this down tight enough that, that the uh, the hook don't move in the vise. Okay. See? Alright. Now, we got, it, got that on there. Now what you need is uh, either green, black, or whatever color you want to make make this on. Uh, I'm using olive green and this is a, a uh, thread holder, spooler, whatever you want to call it. All right, I got a little bit too much thread out there, so just roll it back in. We're going to do try to do this in one take. If I mess up, you're going to see me mess up and it's going to get posted anyway, so it ain't about being perfect, it's about doing it right. Here we go. We put this on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put enough uh, thread up against that ball or that bead so it don't move. We're gonna hold it or tail end at about a 45 degree angle, and then we're gonna run back down the shank until we get to the bend. I know this might be boring to you, but some of y'all probably think, Lord, this guy's crazy here in hell. But this is just how I am. So uh, if I offend anybody, then go somewhere else. And if I don't offend you, then stay around and we'll attempt to do this, all right? All right, we got this down just about to the bend, all right? And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lead through it, uh, wire or lead free wire whatever whatever you want to use gold silver anyway it's going to be covered up all right this is a way to make sure that the woolly booger sinks and not sit on top of the water because it's supposed to be under the water not floating on top of the water right? okay now this got to be put on counterclockwise if you wrap this clockwise then you want this to go the opposite direction okay I'm gonna say okay a lot because I'm trying to figure this stuff out like you are. Okay, now to get this started, we're just gonna hold it and get us a wrap or two going. These gotta be close, kind of tight, and we're gonna do it oh quarter inch or so back from the start. See, okay. see where I started at. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a lot. Let's see if I get a lot straightened out here. All right, you see that now, okay? That had a little bit of a glare on it, okay. Now, that's better. Now you can actually see everything. This is trying to move, but it's okay. We're gonna tie it back anyhow. Our, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know what all this stuff's called, and I'm learning, like you are. So, we'll learn together. Okay, now we're gonna tie this. Let's keep wrapping it until we get satisfied what we need. Oh, see this is this stuff breaks it awfully easy, so just kinda let it roll in your fingers. I think that'd be enough. Okay. Like that. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna what they call helicopter it till it breaks off. See? Alright, see back here we have um let's see, try these tweezers here. See if I can see this without cutting my thread off. There's like a 
push that wire up where I want it. Okay. Now, now we're just going to push that up, make it kind of tight. Okay, it ain't got to be perfect, just got to be there. All right, now, because we're not in a way perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work this. That's a glare on me. All right, I'm still work in progress here. Now we're going to wrap this backwards just like this. I'm going to take it right back up to the ball because I'm going to run me a little bit around that ball. I want to keep it, keep that ball right where it's supposed to be. Okay. And that ball is also going to help us keep uh, our feathers and uh, other stuff away from the eye. And we're going to do this a few times till we get Tell them I'm satisfied that uh, that uh, this is going to work out the way I want. All right, now we're going to run this almost back even with the barb, just like so. Okay, now our bead's going to set our spin, but we don't care. Okay, now. And you notice when I set this uh, bobbin wheel thing down here, it's threader. Curl set twist. It's because the thread's twisted. And it's going to untwist because it's, you know, gravity's pulling on it. All right. Now, we're going to uh, get her, make our tail. Okay. We're going to get this. We're going to grab it with our fingers like this. We'll pull it back and we're going to pinch it up. Until we, and we're going to keep trying until we get what we want, right? And we're gonna, we don't want no huge tail, but we want one on there that's gonna, it's like a rooster trying to get a hen. We're gonna try to entice those uh, fish to grab this. Now what we're gonna do, see I got that. Now we're gonna take our other finger, and we're gonna hold it just like so. All right, now we're gonna do this pinch method and we're gonna go up holding the thread and pulling it straight back down and let go. Do that a couple times, do we get it? See how that pinched that off like that? Makes a pretty good looking tail. All right, well now we're gonna wrap this a couple times and then we're gonna cut that, uh, that uh, rest of that feather it off. Now you gotta watch the tip of that hook. The hook is like a razor blade. Okay, it will cut your thread. And that's no big deal because we can just pick it back up and go again, but and maybe I'll, I'll probably end up cutting it before it's over. But anyway, we're gonna cut this off like that. It ain't gotta be perfect because we're gonna wrap back up over it, okay? Like so. Like I said, I'm not perfect with this stuff. This is only the, my, uh, oh, see I keep hitting the hook. I'm gonna end up cutting this. All right, good enough. All right, see our tail's fuzzed, fuzzed out there. That looks pretty decent. Okay, I keep looking over here because I have a book over here showing me how to do this, in case I forget a step, okay? See, I'm just like you guys. I'm trying to show you how to do something. Now, best way for me to learn is to teach. And some people think that's crazy, but that's how I am. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're to here. This is I done every one I've got done. Okay, kind of looks the same. So we're to here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the wrap on. Okay, we're gonna tie it on. I forget what this is called. This is called a. Chanel, not Chanel 5 or nothing like that. It's not just stuff, it's a little rope. Okay. And we're gonna barely pinch this up here. And you can pinch it up, or you can, uh, whatever you think. Okay. There's my uh, bench, has a spring on there. That over there it holds it back out of the way. I got my hands free again. Okay. Now we got our little. This is what's going to make it fuzzy right here. Where's the camera? Okay. 
camera, you can see right here. Okay, this is a um, hackle. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use that skinny part of the tail. That's what we want on there. This is what's going to make it, the body have this this uh, fuzz right here. That's what it's going to do. So we're going to wrap our Chanel first. And then we're going to try to put that fuzz on there. And then we'll be pretty much done. Because this is not a hard uh, fly to tie up. So to do this. Where are we at? There's the camera. It's over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the top end of this like that. Okay. I was showed by one guy to pull the feathers out. And the guy told me to just strip them back. Okay. Okay. And what are we going to do? We're going to strip back. Yes. Yep. See? I get aggravated here in a minute and I'll cuss. And uh, if you think kids are watching this, you might want to turn it off. But anyway, if you don't, then that's on you. Because I'm going to be me and you be you, okay? And uh, I'll make this world a better place when people do what we do, okay? And then we tie that on. And I'm going to back it up here a little bit on here. Like that. Pull my thread down there. Okay. That's going to be covered anyway. So I'm not going to do something much there to cut off. Alright. So this looks right. We're going to take this. I'm going to make. I'm going to pull this up here so it's out of the way. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And wrap it like that. And the reason for that is it kind of locks our uh, hack in. So when I start wrapping it, it'll uh, start unloading. Okay? And this is going to be right against the head right here, like this. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to wrap this hack on. Kind of close. It's going to be a big bodied uh, fly, but we don't care. It'll catch fish. And if it don't, you know, you can either, like I was told at the meeting the other night, you can either tie flies or you can tie flies to catch fish. Well, I'm tying flies to catch fish. Okay. So, we're going to run that right up against that. Okay. Then we're going to take this and it right off the edge. I'm supposed to do this the other way, but I can't do nothing left handed. I'm right minded and left handed and not left handed, right? Something like that. I'm left minded and not left handed. All right. Now, you're going to take this just like that, where it's sideways like it is, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this. Doing the same direction that the other did, and you're gonna see that. You probably already start seeing it uh, splintering up. Our, there you go. See, and we're gonna have a pretty good looking uh, woolly booger going on here. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We can probably cut that hackle off now. I've got it tied in. But we don't want to. There we go. There's that Chanel off. All right, we're going to do one more wrap. Then I'm going to go do this left handed stuff again. Just enough to get this tied in around that bead. See, I can let go of it now. And we're going to do this and that. And then we're going to cut this bigger off, this hackle off. And I think we are just about done. Okay. I'm trying not to cut my thread here. Bring that right up there like that. And voila. Now, to finish this off, see that's all bunched up around the head. We're going to push this back. Okay. And then we're going to wrap a few wraps around that head, around that bead. 
keeping it. And we're gonna work back toward our tail a little bit. And we are, this is kind of where you start making, if you didn't have a bead, this is where you start building your head. Okay, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then we're gonna poof this up a little bit. All right, forget what this is called. This is called a uh, whip finish, okay? This thing is a lifesaver if you want to, if you'll take the time to learn how to use it. Okay, you can use ink pen tip, whatever. I mean, it does the same things. Wrap it around there, put it on there, it locks it down, right? All right, this thing here is a lifesaver. You take your hook. And it took me forever. All right, there we go. You take your hook, hook it in, hook it around the the uh, hoop here and what you want to do is you want to turn it all right give yourself a little bit and this thread up here you want parallel with the body of your fly okay and what we're going to do is we're going to turn and that's going to wrap about three or four times around we're going to have to trim this a little bit but that's all right and then slide it out pull it up it out. All right. Now I'm going to do this one more time. After, and I'm going to. All right. I like to do it a couple times. So I'm going to do it. One, two, three. Okay. And four. Slide it down. Oh, it's around the eye. There it goes. And up and out. Okay. And then we can cut her thread off. Watch. So, where's that? It's hard to do when you're oh, cutting on my feathers off. All right, now we so say we got this setting up here. It's all right. We'll see if we can trim it off. Like that. All right. Now, now that's woolly booger. Now you can go out, do whatever you want to do. You can buy a big fancy kit, do whatever. My wife bought me a tying kit for Christmas. And I absolutely love this thing. You don't have to have this big base. I mean, it ain't, you know, it, it ain't nothing fancy. It's just a little cheap base. But I wouldn't take $1,000 for it. All right. Here is the infamous Wooly Bigger. And there's the, the one I just tied. So let's take this off. What did I do with it? Where'd it go? Well, I think I threw it at the floor. Somewhere. All right, we got a hook down somewhere. But anyway, and there you go. That's a woolly booger. Mad Scout way. I'm Jimmy. I'm Mad Scout, and this is a woolly booger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Whatever you need to do. If you need to talk, give me a shout. And uh, I'm here. All you vets, find something to do. Get your mind off of what you was doing. Peace out.